YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. Now, because you guys have been showing so much love on the channel and so much love on our recent tier list videos, we're back at it again, boys. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 most meta center attacking mids in FC24. If you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos and you want to see more of them on the channel, definitely let me know by leaving a like. In the comment section down below, let me know a position that you guys would like to see another tier list on. I was actually even thinking about doing a tier list for all the promos that we got throughout the entirety of fc24 so if you guys do want to see that let me know in the comment section down below and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated but without further ado man let's go ahead and jump straight into it now when it comes to a really meta center attacking mid the things that i'm looking for man i do prefer my smaller more intricate type of players it's really important for the card to be very good technically i mean we need to create a lot of chances with him we also need him to bag a few goals so in terms of playstyle pluses i really like the technical playstyle plus for a center attacking mid the finesse shot play style plus i mean we all know how op that is rapid a few passing play style pluses as well always really good i think that is really important for the card to have five star skill moves and five star weak foot and to ultimately just be a very tricky player going forward now kicking off the list at the number 10 spot ladies and gentlemen we do have the footies sbc card for odegaard now with the odegaard sbc i feel like a lot of people did really like the sbc but then a lot of people didn't like it because it was a little bit expensive i think that there were maybe like eight different requirements it was going to cost you roughly eight hundred thousand coins but let me tell you man i think that he perfectly fits that center attacking mid role as you guys can see he does have high medium work rates five star skill moves five star weak foot so you guys already know going forward he is a very tricky player and out of all the players that i use this year in fc24 i do think that odegaard is one of the silkiest players man very good on the ball with his left stick dribbling and then because he does have the technical play style plus the r1 dribbling is just as good now as you guys can see two out of the four play style pluses that he does have do revolve around his passing so the chance creation with his 98 passing is really effective he does have both the ping pass play style plus and then also the tiki taka so i will say man he's easily one of the best passers in fc24 and then he does also have the finesse shot play style plus man and i will say with his 94 shooting he does have one of the best finesse shots in fc24 it's very consistent the flight of the ball is very good as well and then when you pair that with this five star weak foot man you can also hit a lot of shots with his right foot and with martin odegaard i feel like he's one of those players that like a lot of people just assume that you're gonna force it onto his left foot but with the five star weak foot man the right foot is just is good now there is a bit of versatility with the card as well he can play the center mid and center forward positions and if you do run the 4-3-2-1 formation i think that like as a more attacking minded center mid he can most definitely thrive in that position as well and looking at his in-game stats in a bit more detail we can actually see that the card is pretty well rounded he is hooligan with the lowest stat being 80 for his defending so even in that more advanced position you do still get a bit of defensive cover with the card which is really nice to see and with the way that the card is set up because he doesn't have the greatest of strength and aggression i think that the hot chemistry style is a really good option Option. gonna be very close to maxing out his pace his shooting is gonna be top notch as well and then he's also gonna get a very nice upgrade to his strength and aggression which is something that the card very much needs now looking at his play styles we can see that the majority of his play styles do revolve around both his ball control and then also his passing so like i said boys he is a very silky player on the ball very tricky to play against with his five star skill moves and five star weak foot he does have every passing play style which is actually really important for a center attacking mid and then he does also have the most effective scoring play style in the finesse shot play style plus so man so a perfect center attacking mid and although a lot of people weren't too happy about the cost of the SBC being roughly 800,000 coins I do still think that he is one of the best center attacking mids in FC24 and very deserving of a top 10 spot up next ladies and gentlemen and taking the number nine spot we do have the make your mark card for Cole Palmer now I feel like a lot of people did forget that he does have this make your mark card but he makes a phenomenal center attacking mid in game now as you guys know Palmer throughout the entirety of FC24 has been a very popular player he got a lot of informed cards he did have his team of the season card as well and a lot of people did enjoy using his team of the season card as like that right sided center attacking mid in like the 4-2-3-1 formation and rightly so man and now with this make your mark card man a phenomenal phenomenal player going forward now when it comes to a center attacking mid man i do prefer high medium work rates but medium medium isn't the end of the world as you guys can see he does still have the five star skill moves and five star weak foot and very similar to odegaard i feel like a lot of people just kind of assume that you're going to force it onto his left foot but his right foot is just as dangerous now three out of the four playstyle pluses that he does have are really effective he has the power shot and finesse shot playstyle pluses so i will say man there is a lot of variety going forward especially when it comes to scoring goals with him the technical playstyle plus with his taller build man he does have the tall and lean body type and i feel like that definitely suits him the left stick dribbling with the card is already really good but the r1 dribbling is even better i think that he's a very good ball carrier and then he does also have the dead ball playstyle plus now i will say as something other than the dead ball probably would have been a little bit more effective but if you do like to take a lot of corners if you do 
do like to score a lot of direct free kicks. I feel like he's very good for that. Now, again, man, there is a little bit of versatility with the card. He can play both the center attacking mid and right wing positions. And if you do run like the 4-3-3 formation, I do think that he also makes a really solid right wing. And if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is very well-rounded. Again, very similar to Odegaard. He is hooligan. The lowest stat that he does have is 83 for his defending. So you do still get a bit of defensive cover. Now, the one thing that I really like with Cole Palmer is that not only is the technical side to his game really effective, but the physical side is really good as well. As you guys can see, he does have 98 pace. So you guys already know he is a very quick player. And then he does also have 90 physical. So he is very strong both on and off the ball. 90 strength and 79 aggression. I will say it's very difficult to push him off of the ball. But again, man, for a center attacking mid, we do need him to be very technically gifted. And Palmer is most definitely that. 96 shooting, 95 passing, and 97 dribbling. You get the best of both worlds with the card. Not only can he create a lot of chances with his 95 passing and 97 dribbling, but he can also score tons of goals. And with the finesse shot play style plus, man, if you do want to run him as like a right side of center attacking mid, cut in and hit a finesse shot with his left foot, man, that's very difficult to stop. Now, as you guys can see, the play styles are pretty evenly spread out, man. The majority do revolve around his scoring and then also his ball control. So unlike Martin Odegaard, I do see Odegaard as more of a playmaker, but with Cole Palmer, man, the scoring ability that he does have is very nice as well. The only scoring play style that he is missing is the power header, which honestly isn't even really that important. Two passing play styles is okay. Maybe the pink pass would have been a lot more effective, but that's still all right. But he does have a lot of ball control play styles. I will say one letdown for the card is the fact that he doesn't have the rapid or the quick step. And he is one of the few players on the list that do still hold their value, man. He's going on the market for 2.2 million coins, which is honestly ridiculous. And with so much variety in the attack, five star skill moves, five star weak foot, a lot of finishing play style pluses, the technical play style plus being really effective with the card as well. I think that Cole Palmer being a fan favorite throughout FC24 is very deserving of a top 10 spot. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, and taking the number eight spot, we do have the greats of the game icon card for Zidane. Now with Zidane, man, I think that if you prefer your smaller, more intricate type of players, he might not fit your style of play. But nevertheless, man, I think that he makes an incredible center attacking mid. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot. And ultimately, man, he is still a very tricky player going forward. Now, three out of the four play style pluses, in my opinion, are really effective. I love the fact that he does have both the technical and finesse shot play style pluses. Really, really good for a center attacking mid. He does also have the long ball pass play style plus, which for me personally, boys, is better suited for like a center mid or a more defensive minded midfielder. Because he is in a more advanced position as that center attacking mid, you don't really get the opportunities to incorporate that as much as possible. But in some situations, you can still go ahead and use it. And then he does also have the chip shot and the chip shot is a bit of an L for the card. Now, out of all the scoring play styles this year in FC24, I do think that the chip shot and power header are the least effective. It would have been really nice to maybe see another passing play style plus or maybe like the rapid or quick step just to add a little bit more going forward. Now, as you guys can see, no real versatility with the card as he can only play the center attacking mid and center mid positions. And with the way that the card is set up because he does have high, high work rates, I do think that he also makes a really good box to box midfielder. And if you do incorporate him at that center mid position, the long ball pass play style plus is obviously going to be a little bit more effective. Now, looking at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see again that the card is very well rounded, man. The lowest stat that he does have is 83 for his defending. So a lot of people will typically go ahead and use him at that center mid position with the shadow chem style. But as a center attacking mid, because the technical side to his game is so effective, man, I think that he is easily still one of the top 10. 99 passing for the card, 99 dribbling as well. So he is still very smooth on the ball. And when you go ahead and pair those two together, man, you can create so many chances with him. And then because he does have the five star weak foot and the finesse shot play style plus, man, the 94 shooting is a huge part to his game as well. Not only can he create a lot of chances, but he can also bag you a lot of goals. I love the fact that he does have the finesse shot with the five star weak foot. And ultimately, if you do want to go ahead and play him as a center attacking mid in game, the Hunter Kem style is a really good option because he doesn't have the greatest of sprint speed and acceleration. And because he doesn't have the rapid or quick step play styles, I feel like you can kind of feel that in game. And that's the main reason why we did drop him a little bit lower on the list. Now, looking at his play styles, we can see that he does have the intercept. And I feel like the intercept is the first thing that kind of like draws my attention because with these center attacking mids, they tend to not have any defensive play styles, but Zidane does have one. And that's ultimately going to allow you to win back possession a little bit more frequently from a more advanced position. I love the fact that he does have four out of the five passing play styles. The only one that he is missing is the whip pass. And if you run him in a more central position, I mean, you can't even really incorporate that anyway. He does have the finesse shot play style plus a phenomenal addition for the card. And I will say he's one of the best R1 dribblers in FC24. I feel like with this bigger build in game, the R1 dribbling is very effective. And because he does have really good strength and aggression, it is quite difficult to get him off of the ball. Because the technical side to his game is so good, because he does have five-star skill moves and five-star weak foot, really good play style pluses apart from 
the chip shot, I think that he is very deserving of a top 10 spot. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, and taking the number seven spot, we do have the Make Your Mark card for Florian Wirtz. Now, Florian Wirtz been a very interesting player this year in FC24. He did have his team of the season card. I'm pretty sure that he did have an Ultimate Dynasties as well. He did also have three Bundesliga Player of the Month cards, so a lot of special cards throughout the entirety of FC24, and rightly so. Now, with Florian Wirtz, man, I feel like he's one of those players that, like, very similar to Cole Palmer, you just don't see very often. But I do still think that he makes an incredible center attacking mid in game. I'm pretty sure that he was the first player in FC24 to become 99 rated. And as you guys can see, man, a very tricky player. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot. He does have a very small build in game. So if you do prefer your smaller, more intricate type of players, I do see Wurtz maybe even being a little bit higher on the list for you. Now, in terms of playstyle pluses, he does have the technical playstyle plus, which is a really nice addition for the card. Because he does have a smaller build in game, I mean, the left stick dribbling is really good, but then you also get that variety with the R1 dribbling as well. And as that center attacking mid, I do think that he's a very good ball carrier. It's very difficult to get him off of the ball. Now, instead of the finesse shot playstyle plus, he does have the power shot, and the power shot is a little bit underrated. I still really like to incorporate it. But if I had to choose one, the finesse shot is a little bit more OP in game. He does also have the incisive pass playstyle plus, which is a really nice addition for the card. The chance creation is incredible. But the fourth playstyle plus, man, the fourth playstyle plus is most definitely a letdown for the card. He does have the acrobatic. And as you guys know, this year in FC24, the acrobatic playstyle plus is not very effective. It's very similar to like the power header, the flare, the chip shot. Now, there is also a bit of versatility with the card. He can play the center attacking mid, center mid, and also striker positions. But I do think that he's best suited as a center attacking mid. I don't see many people running him at the striker position. Now, for someone who does have a smaller build in game, to still have 83 defending and 84 physical is pretty good. But because he does only have 75 strength and 87 aggression, he isn't the strongest of players on the ball. So you most definitely have to rely on the technical side, man. You need him to be very tricky, create a lot of chances, score a lot of goals. And I feel like that's where the card thrives. And that is most definitely the meta this year in FC24. Now, as you guys can see, the technical side to his game is phenomenal. 96 shooting, 98 passing, and 99 dribbling. He does have 99 for each subcategory. And with this smaller build in game, the left stick dribbling is incredible. The technical play style plus, like I said, a great addition for the card as well as a ball carrier is superb in that position. When you pair that with his 98 passing and the incisive pass play style plus, you can create so many chances with him. And then he's also a very clinical player, man. 99 attacking, positioning, 98 finishing. I feel like the finishing in and around the box is very consistent. His long shots are a little bit more inconsistent in my opinion, but it's really important that he does have five star weak foot and then also 94 pace is quite solid. And looking at his play styles in a bit more detail, we can see that the majority of his play styles do revolve around both his scoring and then also his ball control. So again, man, a very good ball carrier. He can score a lot of goals for you while still providing that chance creation. And if you do prefer your smaller, more intricate type of players, now I do think that it's a letdown that he's still going on the market for 4 million coins, but he is easily one of the best center attacking mids in the game currently and very deserving of a top 10 spot. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, and taking the number six spot, we do have the grace of the game icon card for Rivaldo. Now, as you guys know, Rivaldo has not been the most desirable of icon cards, but with the greats of the game icon, man, with the upgrades, with the play style pluses, he makes a phenomenal center attacking mid in game. Now, if you do prefer your taller, more physical type of players, then I do think that Rivaldo is most definitely going to fit your style of play. He does have high, high work rates, so you can also use him out wide, but you can also use him as that box to box midfielder. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot, a very tricky player going forward. And because he is left foot dominant, the fact that he does have five star weak foot definitely adds a lot more going forward. A lot of people just assume that you're going to force it onto his left foot. But let me tell you, boys, with the five star weak foot, his right foot is just as dangerous, especially with the finesse shot play style plus. Easily one of the best finesse shots in FC24, so consistent and so difficult to defend against. I love the fact that he does have both the technical and press proven play style pluses. For me personally, the press proven is a very underrated one. The left stick dribbling with the card is absolutely insane, man. And with the five star skill moves, he keeps it very close and he's a very tricky player going forward. And then you do also get the best of both worlds with the technical play style plus because the R1 dribbling with this bigger build is very good as well. Now, the only play style plus, in my opinion, that isn't very effective is the dead ball. But if you do only have one player in your starting 11 with the dead ball play style plus, you want it to be Rivaldo. And as you guys can see, there is a lot of versatility with the card. When we did make our top 10 most meta wingers, we did include him in the list for that as well. And rightly so, man. I feel like whichever position you play him in, he most definitely thrives. Now, looking at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card isn't very well-rounded compared to some of the other center attacking mids. But because the physical side to his game is quite good, man, I think that you do still get a bit of defensive cover, man. The physical side to his game goes a long way. He does have 89 strength and 66 aggression. And if you go ahead and give him like the architect chem style, man, a very nice upgrade to his strength. And ultimately, he's probably one of the strongest center attacking mids in FC24. 
24. But the main positive with the card is most definitely the technical side to his game. 97 shooting, 95 passing, and 99 dribbling. Now, despite him having a bigger build in game, the 99 dribbling, like I said, man, is still very good in game. The technical and press proven phenomenal for the card. So ultimately, you can create a lot of chances with him. 95 passing, I mean, if you give him the architect, you are going to max out the majority of those stats. And then the finishing, man, I do think that the finishing is some of the best in FC24. His long shots are very consistent with the finesse shot play style plus. And then the finishing in and around the box is very good as well. So if you can get him a little bit further forward, I think that he most definitely thrives in those areas. And a very similar trend that we see with these center attacking mids, the majority of the play styles do revolve around his scoring and then also his ball control. And he is the only player on the list so far that does have the press proven. And I feel like that works really well going forward. And I love the fact that you do get a bit of versatility with the card as well. A very good player out wide and a more central position. He's very good as well. And if you do have the fodder man, a very good SBC to go ahead and complete and easily one of the best center attacking mids in FC24. All right, boys, we're getting close to the end. Taking the number five spot, we do have the footies hero SBC card for Janola. Now, Janola, man, a fan favorite throughout the entirety of FC24. His base hero card was insane. He did have his triple threat hero card, and then you could also use him in a lot of evolutions. Now, when the footies hero SBC card was released, I think that a lot of people did see the card as a very good SBC to go ahead and complete, but he was a little bit expensive. I think that it was roughly 1.8 million coins, but I mean, you're getting a phenomenal player for the price. Now, very similar to some of the other players on the list, there is a lot of versatility with the card. You can play him out wide, you can play him at the striker position, but I feel like as a center attacking mid, he is phenomenal because the goal scoring ability on the card is some of the best in FC24. And then you do also get the chance creation. Now, I will say the 92 passing isn't anything too crazy, but for the most part, man, his passing was still quite accurate. High medium work rates for a center attacking mid is ideal in my opinion. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot. And I love the fact that all four playstyle pluses are really effective in game. He does have both the technical and finesse shot playstyle pluses, and I feel like that's probably the two most important ones. The power shot is a very good addition for the card as well. There is a lot of variety going forward when it comes to scoring goals with him. And then the first touch playstyle plus is a very underrated playstyle plus in my opinion. I feel like in those tight areas, you can most definitely drill the balls at Janola. He gets them under control very quickly, and that's ultimately going to allow you to transition into the attack with a lot more pace. Now, like I said, boys, there is a lot of versatility with the card. He can play at the striker position, left mid, center attacking mid, left wing as well. And with the way that the card is set up, the technical side to his game is some of the best in FC24, but the physical side is really good as well. So you get the best of both worlds with the card in that sense. I think that it's very difficult to get him off of the ball. And if you do prefer your taller, more physical type of midfielders, I think that Ginola can maybe even be a little bit higher on the list for you. As you guys can see, he does have 99 pace overall with both the quick step and rapid play style. So he's easily one of the quickest players on the list. Now with his 95 agility and 90 balance, I do still think that he's quite smooth on the ball, but it does take some time getting used to. The passing in game for the most part is quite accurate. He does have the tiki taka play style, which is quite decent. So for me personally, boys, I do see him as like a center attacking mid that can maybe score a few more goals rather than create a few chances. And if you do run the 4-2-3-1 formation as like a left-sided center attacking mid, I think that that's where he most definitely thrives. Now the majority of his play styles do revolve around both his scoring and ball control. So again, a very tricky player going forward. I love the fact that he does have two of the best scoring playstyle pluses. He does also have a lot of ball control playstyles. The only one that he is missing is the press proven. And I feel like the press proven would have been a really nice addition for the card just to add a little bit more to his left stick dribbling. But other than that, man, a phenomenal SBC to go ahead and complete a very good center attacking mid in game. And if you do have the fodder, man, I think that it's a great SBC to go ahead and complete. Like I said, man, you're getting a player that is very good technically. The physical side to his game is just as good and for roughly 1.8 million coins easily one of the top 10 most meta center attacking mids in fc24 up next ladies and gentlemen and taking the number four spot we have the most expensive sbc during the footies promo it's none other than the footies icon card for mia ham now mia ham a lot of versatility with the card you can run her at the striker position you can play her out wide and then also as a center attacking mid and let me tell you man she is easily one of the trickiest players in fc24 so good on the ball with her smaller build as you guys can see she is only five foot five high medium work rates with five stars skill moves in five star weak foot and i love the fact that all four play style pluses for her are really effective in game she does have both the finesse shot and power shot so a lot of variety going forward she's one of the few center attacking mids on the list that does have the rapid play style plus which is honestly with her pace really really effective and then she does also have the first touch just like david Ginola. and if you do prefer your smaller more intricate type of player she can maybe be even a little bit higher on the list and looking at her in-game stats in a bit more detail although she doesn't have the craziest of passing i still feel like you can create so many chances with her because she does have a smaller build in game i think that the dribbling 
dribbling is outstanding, especially if you go ahead and give her the engine chem style. The extra upgrade to her passing and dribbling does go a long way, especially in terms of chance creation. And then with her 99 shooting, she is easily one of the most clinical players in FC24. 99 attacking, positioning, 99 finishing. I mean, the finishing in and around the box is just so consistent. And then 99 shot power and 98 long shots. With both the power shot and finesse shot play style pluses, there's a lot of variety going forward. And I feel like her long shots are also some of the best in the game at the moment. And again, man, she does have two of the most effective scoring play style pluses. So you do get the best of both worlds. She can bag you so many goals. Now, I do think that maybe a few more passing play styles would have been ideal for the card. Maybe the incisive pass or ping pass. Now, if you run her at the striker position or out wide, that's not going to be that big of an issue. But as a center attacking mid, I think that that's the main thing that she's missing. The rapid play style plus, a great addition for the card. The first touch, very good as well. And then she does also have the quick step. And as you guys know, she is the most expensive SPC that we got during the footies promo. I'm pretty sure that it was roughly 3.54 million coins, somewhere around there. But rightly so, man. If you do have the fodder and you are looking for a very good player going forward with a lot of versatility, Mia Hamm is a fantastic option and very deserving of a top 10 spot, especially with this year's meta in FC24. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, and taking the bronze medal, we do have the greats of the game icon card for Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, for me personally, boys, has been a fan favorite throughout the entirety of FC24. He makes a fantastic winger in game, but he makes a very good central player as well because he is a very tricky player going forward. Now, I love the fact that he does have high low work rates, five star skill moves, four star weak foot is a bit of an L for the card. But for the most part, the weak foot finishing in game is still very consistent. Now, two out of the four play style pluses, in my opinion, are really effective. He does have both the quick step and the finesse shot play style pluses, and the quick step with Ronaldinho body type is just so OP in game. If you do run the 4 2 3 1 formation, you can also use him as a left sided center attacking mid, and I think that he can most definitely thrive in that position. The finesse shot play style plus, I mean, we all know how OP that is. He does also have the dead ball, which is okay. Like I said, man, if you do only have one player in your starting 11 with the dead ball play style plus, I mean, you would want Ronaldinho to have it. And then last but not least, he does also have the trickster. Now, the trickster is okay. I think that has to fit like a specific style of play. But I will say, man, in some situations, you can most definitely catch your opponent off guard by incorporating it from time to time. Now, with Ronaldinho, again, there is a bit of versatility with the card. He can play out wide and then he can also play as a center attacking mid. Now, if we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is very well rounded from an attacking perspective. The lowest stat that he does have is 91 physical if we don't include the 43 defending. So as you guys can see, the technical side to his game is some of the best in FC24. 99 passing and 99 dribbling. The chance creation is phenomenal. He can also bag you a lot of goals with his 95 shooting and the finesse shot play style plus. But the physical side to his game is really important as well, man. 97 pace with the quick step. I mean, we all know how OP that is. And then he does also have 91 physical, man. 92 strength and 82 aggression. For the most part, he is very strong both on and off the ball. And I feel like when you go ahead and incorporate everything together, he is just a very tricky player going forward. And then he does also have that physical presence as well. And if we go ahead and look at his play styles, one letdown for the card is the fact that he doesn't have any passing play styles. But the fact that he does have 99 passing does kind of carry the card. For the most part, man, his passing in game is still very accurate. From an attacking perspective, he can do everything really well. I love the fact that he does have the finesse shot play style plus, And then the majority of his play styles do revolve around his ball control and then also his physicality. So again, man, you're getting a player that is most definitely technically gifted five star skill moves with the trickster play style plus he's easily one of the best dribblers in fc24 the 99 passing does go a long way as well and whether you play him out wider in a more central position i think that is safe to say man easily one of the best wingers and attacking midfielders in fc24 and very deserving of a very high spot up next ladies and gentlemen and taking the silver medal we do have the copa america team of the tournament card for Lionel messi now with Lionel messi man with his smaller build with his really high dribbling and passing he is just such a tricky player going forward. Now, the main problem, in my opinion, with Lionel Messi throughout the year was the fact that he did have low, low work rates. The physical side to his game wasn't great, and ultimately, in a more advanced position, he was good, but he wasn't anything too crazy. But with the team of the tournament card, man, as you guys can see, high, low work rates. That's a very good upgrade for the card. And then he does also have the five star skill moves and five star weak foot. If you do prefer your smaller, more intricate type of players, I mean, he is just phenomenal in game. Now, with Messi, the thing that I really do enjoy is the fact that all four playstyle pluses are perfect for a center attacking mid he does have the technical play style plus and then also the finesse shot the left stick dribbling is absolutely cracked but the r1 dribbling is really good as well you get the chance creation with the tiki taka play style plus but you also get the goal scoring ability with the finesse shot and very similar to some of the other center attacking mids i feel like a lot of people just kind of assume that you're going to force it onto his left foot but with his five star weak foot man his right foot is just as dangerous and then the first touch play style plus is a pretty good addition as well now there is a bit of versatility 
with the card as he can also play the striker and center forward position and as a striker he's okay I think that he's better suited as a center attacking mid center forward and if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail we can see that the technical side is some of the best in FC 24 98 shooting 99 passing and 99 dribbling I think that the chance creation is honestly some of the best in FC 24 the passing is really accurate and then the dribbling man a very swift player on the ball and like I said boys I think that it's really important for your center attacking mid to also have that goal scoring ability and with Messi the five star weak foot and the finesse shot play style plus you most definitely have that I think that he has some of the best finesse shots in FC 24 and then the finishing in and around the box is very consistent as well now the physical side to his game still isn't anything too crazy he does have a bit of a pace split 99 acceleration 88 sprint speed so to get the most out of his pace you can go ahead and give him the hunter camp style but you can also give him the hawk if you are a little bit worried with his physicality as you guys can see he does only have 86 strength and 58 aggression so the hawk chemistry style is a pretty decent option as well I will say he isn't the strongest of players on the ball but he is a very jammy player he gets a lot of things to go his way now in terms of play styles they are evenly spread out and I think that this is really important for a center attacking mid as you guys can see he does have three scoring play styles the only passing play style that he is missing is the whip pass a few ball control and then also a few physical so a very well-rounded player from an attacking perspective and ultimately that gives you a lot of versatility in the attack you can use him as a goal scorer but you can also incorporate him as a playmaker with this five star skill moves and with this five star weak foot if you do prefer your smaller more intricate type of players just a very very technically gifted player going forward and a few weeks ago I do remember that he was going on the market for like eight nine million coins but with the footies promo with the re-release promo he's only going on the market for a million coins and for that price you are getting a phenomenal player in game and easily one of the most meta center attacking mids in FC 24 and here we are ladies and gentlemen the most meta center attacking mid in FC 24 in my personal opinion is the footies icon card for Pele now as you guys know a few days ago we did get his icon SBC and it's a very good SBC to go ahead and craft over time and with Pele man I think that he perfectly suits like that center attacking mid center forward role he does have high medium work rates five star skill moves five star weak foot he does have a smaller build in game as well so if you do prefer those smaller more intricate type of players a phenomenal addition to your side now I do think that three out of the four play style pluses are really effective he does have the technical which is a phenomenal addition for the card the tiki taka isn't half bad either especially in those tight areas I think that you can create a lot of chances with him now I do think that a lot of people would prefer the finesse shot play style plus but the power shot with Pele does work really well man I think that he has one of the most cracked long shots in FC 24 and then he does also have the Trivella and the Trivella is a bit of an L for the card but I will say man the ball roll Trivella in game is actually really effective now very similar to Lionel Messi there is a bit of versatility with the card he can also play as a center forward and striker and looking at his in-game stats in a bit more detail we can see that the technical side to his game is phenomenal 99 shooting 93 passing and 97 dribbling now one problem with the card is the fact that EA didn't give him 99 dribbling man come on it's Pele man he deserves 99 dribbling now with the way that the card is set up I do think that the engine chem style is probably your best option it's gonna max out his pace at 99 it's also gonna give the card a really nice passing upgrade and it's an upgrade that the card very much needs and then it's also gonna max out his dribbling at 99 so you are gonna get the best of both worlds not only is the chance creation with the card phenomenal but he can also bag you a lot of goals man 99 shooting man easily one of the most clinical players in FC 24 and then I do also like that the physical side to his game isn't half bad either 82 strength and 65 aggression very similar to Lionel Messi and although he isn't the strongest of players on the ball he is a very Jamie player he gets a lot of things to go his way now in terms of play styles as you guys can see he does have 12 different play styles and they are evenly spread out I love the fact that he does also have the finesse shot play style I think that the long shots in general are very consistent whether it's a power shot whether it's a finesse shot a trivella it is very consistent and very effective he does have three out of the five passing play styles and arguably the three most effective ones for the center attacking mid position and with him having a lot of ball control and physical play styles I think that it's very difficult to defend against him the technical play style plus man the R1 dribbling with the card is insane and he keeps it very close and it's very difficult to defend against and then I love the fact that he does also have the quick step man the acceleration boost that you get with the card is phenomenal if you do prefer your smaller more intricate type of players he is most definitely going to fit your style of play a lot of people did enjoy using both his winter wild card and then also ultimate birthday icon cards and with the footies icon man I think that he is just the icing on the cake you're getting a player that is just so technically gifted a very silky player on the ball he can create a lot of chances he can score a lot of goals and because the physical side to his game isn't half bad either I think that he is a perfect center attacking mid and very deserving of the number one spot and there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is my list of the top 10 most meta center attacking mids in FC 24 if you guys did enjoy today's video and you want to see more of them on the channel definitely let me know by leaving a like in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts and opinions on the list 
some things that you like, some things that you guys would change. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Booba, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.